guys, how's everyone doing today? So, I'm coming on today to do the blue look because obviously, um, if you look at the comments in my last video, the blue look definitely is the one that was most wanted. I've already primed my eyes and I used uh, the Bombs Time Bomb Concealer and I used it in a shade light medium. This is what it looks like here. I just use my finger, put it on, and then pat over it with a sponge. Um, if there's any creasing, I'll fix it before I put on the shadow with my finger. It's not really that big of a deal. So for me to do this video today, I'm going to be using a combination of the Alamar Cosmetics palette, the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I might need to pull a light green out of the Morphe 35M Boss Mood palette. So I know it's a lot of palettes to use, and you do not need to use all these palettes. You can use one palette if they have dark green, light green, blue, and gold. I mean, that's basically all I'm using for this um, eye look. And it was honestly really fast to do. Like, it probably took me all of 10 minutes to do the blue side. Um, and then I tried doing a purple, and I tried this color and that one, and I ended up messing up, making a big mess, but I had fun. I spent about an hour and a half in here uh, in my little makeup area putting on makeup, and I loved it because it was just me being creative. And you don't need to have, like, you know, huge art talents to be able to do makeup. Anybody who's done makeup who has actually sat down in front of the mirror and just really worked with makeup knows that, I mean, just the right combination of colors and you're good to go. So anyway, um, to start off, I'm going to be starting with the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to be starting with, shoot, almost dropped it. I'm going to be starting off with this color right here. It's like a teal color. And I'm not setting my eyes. Now, I would typically set my eyes, but for this look, I want this green to stand out. So I will set above it after I get the green on. So I'm just going to take... This brush right here, it's a Bliss, it just says eyeshadow brush. Um, it has that like flat almost look to it, but it still has like a little bit of fluff to it. So it's the only way I can really describe it. It's flat but fluffy. <laughs> so I'm dipping into that green, and I'm going to use a mirror from another palette. So that way I can, you know, know what I'm doing here. My mirror is too far away. So, so I'm just going to take that color, and I'm going to press it into my crease right here starting on the outer portion working my way in and I don't want to drag it sorry I don't want to drag the brush I just want to press because if I drag it then it mutes the color down and I don't want to do that because I did not set my concealer the concealer on my eyes now it may look a little messy to start let me zoom use it a little bit hopefully it's not too zoomed for you as I know it's kind of a crazy zoom but I'm just pressing it all the way in to the inner corner and you're kind of just making this rounded look right here and it always looks crazy at first because like I said I didn't set it and it, it's actually not setting your eyelid can sometimes become a mess very easily and it's very hard to blend shades until you get enough powders on there. So I think that's where like I didn't do this for the longest time because I didn't like the fact that it took forever to blend. But so now I'm just going to bring this out and up on the edge. And it's going to look messy. I'm not worried about what it looks like right now. Because I know when I did this yesterday, it looked like a huge mess. Like, <laughs> there's no describing the amount of mess I made on myself yesterday. And you might see I have like a pimple right here. Just so you, I mean, I don't know if that's going to distract you at all. But I have, um, I get pimples on my head because my head dries out with the winter time. Alright, so now that we have the first color pressed into the eye, I'm only going to do one on camera. I'll go off camera and do this one. It'll make it so much quicker. Um, I'm done with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I don't need that anymore for anything. I'm going to take just a big fluffy brush like this, and I'm going to set above that teal color with the Cody Airspun powder. because this will help ensure that I get a better blend between the teal and the green I'm going to use. Okay. So 
now I'm going to move on to a fluffy brush. And I'm going to go into the Morphe 35M Boss Mood Palette and use this shade right here. It's like a neon green, but it'll help the blend at the top of this. And I'm just going to kind of press this down above it and blend it out. And because this is a different tone, it may look funny at first, but it's the only like greenish color that I had that would blend this color out better. And I'm just blending this into the teal and above it. And this is really a very simple look. Um, I wish I had a better green tone because I feel like that green kind of clashes just a little bit, but I'm only using it for uh, blending reasons. I'm not even using it really for the color. And I'm just blending the teal up into that color. Alright, so now that that's blended, even though it looks like a mess, it's really not. <laughs> Um, I'm going to be using a little flat, this is actually like a shader brush for the rest of my eye look. Um, I'm going to go into the LMR Cosmetics palette right here. And I'm going to take the dark blue glitter, that color right there. And I'm going to use this on the outer portion of my eye from right here where the crease is to about right here. But I'm going to keep it on an outward slant. And this color is like pure glitter, this blue. If you look at it on the brush, it just looks like glitter. It's a beautiful color, and this palette is one of my favorites. So I'm just going to press this on the edge and bring it in. And I'm going to bring it all the way up to the crease. And you kind of create like a wing with the blue. And it doesn't matter if you get it below it, you can always wipe it off later. So there, the blue is on there, it's on that angle that I want it. Um, which press it in right there. And I'm going to use these same colors for underneath also, like I did yesterday. So I'm wiping off that brush. <clears throat> wow, it looks crazy. Going back into the LMR palette. And I'm going to go into the shade Celia. Celia, right there. And I'm just taking the same brush that I wiped off. Packing the color on there, and you can see it's like a true teal with more of a greenish undertone. And I'm gonna put this on right where the other, where the blue left off, all the way up to the crease, bringing it almost all the way into my eye to about here, and then that's when the gold will take over. But I'm gonna blend this into the blue. And all the way up to the crease, sorry. All right, so that one's done there. So I'm just gonna take a small shader brush like this one here. This is from the Alamar Cosmetics uh, brush kit. And I'm gonna go into this gold color right here. And that's the color I'm gonna use for my inner part of my eye. And I'm gonna bring that up to the crease. I'm just pressing it down right in that inner corner and blending it into the teal. A little bit more. And I just blend it out this way, more at the uh, crease area than down lower. Sorry, I'm looking at my mirror and I'm trying not to block you. So I may look funny, but I'm trying to do the best I can to explain and not block you. There we go. So we have the top done now. And like I said, it, it was a really fairly quick look. Um, it was something I just decided out of nowhere to try. So what I am going to do is I'm going to clean up around my eye real quick with a makeup wipe. 
I'm going to zoom these out a little bit now, too, because I feel like I look crazy like this. There we go. <clears throat> and it doesn't look like crazy blended right now, but that's because I'm going to go through and blend more in a minute. So I'm just going to take a makeup wipe. I use the Neutrogena makeup wipes. They're my favorite. And I'm going to wipe underneath my eye here for any fallout that I had. And I'm just going to clean up the edge just a little bit here. That's it. So I'm going to let that dry real fast. So I'm going to do my other eye off camera real quick and I'll be right back. I'm going to move on to my lower lash line first. And I'm going to take the LMR palette because it's the only one I need for this. I'm going to take a flat top um, brush here. I'm going to dip it into the blue glitter, the dark blue glitter right here. And I need my little mirror to see. I'm going to put this on the very outer portion of my lower lash line. Right here. And I'm going to bring it to about there. And then I'm going to wipe that brush off real quick. And I'm going to go into the teal color, Celia. This one right here same brush and I'm going to connect that dark blue to this one and bring this about three quarters of the way in sorry I'm hoping not blocking these that's why I try to stay at a sideward angle so I don't block these with the mirror this one's not showing up as well on camera as it is in person Make it a little darker for you. All right, so I brought it into about right here, which is hard for you to see. I'm sorry, it's not picking up on my camera for some reason. Um, but it is there and it is showing good. Um, now I'm going to dip into this gold shade here in the corner with the same brush which is kind of hard because this one falls apart it's like a very crumbly color but it's beautiful one of my favorites in this whole palette and i'm going to put this on the very inner corner from the very tip here to meet the teal this is when my eyes start watering You know what? I think this will come in handy for me right now. It's just a sponge applicator that comes with any little eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to dip that into that gold color. Yeah, there you go. And I made it stand out more. You can see it better now. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. I'm just going to start with the inner part. on there all right I'm gonna flip it over to the other end I'm gonna go into the teal sorry I'm trying to block you guys I have a habit of pulling this up like that and then you can't see anything flip the teal over now I'll go into the dark glittery blue like that Bring that blue more into the teal. Get back into the teal again. Ooh, that is bright. I'm just going back into the teal to reinforce it because the gold kind of took over a little bit. There we go. Let me bring this one down a little further too. All right. So we have all those colors there. And what I am going to do is I'm going to go back into that Jaclyn Hill palette for that. Um, initial color I used up here and I'm going to blend out my lower lash line with that teal color. So I had to get out of my drawer. So I'm just going to take um, like a little tiny smudger flat, I don't know, I think this is actually a shader brush, but I use it as like a smudger brush. That's what it works for best for me. And I'm just going to smudge this color 
right at the very edge of all these colors I used in my lower lash line just to brighten them, but I'm not bringing it in past the gold. Just like that. And it still looks a little chaotic, I know that. Um, but it did yesterday to me too, until I got everything finished. And I know brows have a big part in it, and this brow is like majorly messed up. But I don't want to sit here and film for 10 hours to do one eye look, so I kind of just went with it. Um, now, moving on to the eyeliner. Just so I have a black eyeliner that stands out good, I know this big chubby, um, chubby stick LA Colors eyeliner is good, so I'm going to put this in my waterline real quick. Yeah, see, that's way more dominant than the blue. And it makes the teal color stand out a little better, too. Now something you don't see a lot on my channel is me doing a big wing because I have a more not so convenient way of doing it because I'm not that great at it. I'm just going to line my upper water line also. My eyes are watering like crazy right now. Alright, so now my eyes are all lined. I am going to use my liquid liner right here. This is the... Soap and Glory Super Cat Liquid Black Eyeliner Pen. Now, this is the only black eyeliner pen I normally use. Um, I don't know why. I just really, this is the only one I stuck to because I feel like I have better control with it. Like, if you see it, it's like a, literally like a marker and it has a very tiny tip, but then, you know, it gets chubbier so you have more liquid flowing through it. So I start, of course, on my inner portion of my eye. Well, I start a little bit further in, but just to get that there. And I always brace my finger on my face because I feel like that gives me more control. And so in case I'm shaky or something, it'll help me. And then instead of coming out and then drawing the outer portion of the wing, I do the inner portion first. Once I get it where I want it. Like that. So I draw into the color like that and then I bring it in to my inner corner and I feel like that is the best way for me to do a wing because I'm so messy with it and like I said I'm not that good at it there we go so it's kind of crazy looking it's kind of big but I'm just gonna go with it I warned you ahead of time that I'm not good at it at all but there's my wing and I will connect it down here to my inner part of my waterline. Like, you see how it looks like it has a gap? I'll get rid of that in a minute. So I'll fix that with the blue eyeshadow. So they're there. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to add my mascara. I'm gonna use uh, Lash Paradise. And then I'll do my brow bone in my inner corner. And because I actually do have long eyelashes, it's going to be hard to tell with this. Um, you, Preferably, I think that I would do, if I was wearing this out, I would put on fake lashes. And I figure it's the one time I do a wing on camera, I destroy it. Lower lash line. There we go. Now I'm making a mess. I got mascara underneath. I'll fix that. So that's in. My eyes look huge and crazy right now. And it's going to be hard for me to get used to looking at myself like this. Because I don't often use color. Um, the last thing I'm going to use is this color right here. This very pretty pink color. 
that's going to be my inner corner and my brow bone color. And I kind of bring it up like a little bit more up here than I normally would, but that's because I want it to connect to the gold a little bit. It just makes this right here look better in the inner corner because I don't like my inner corners looking dark at all. There we go. Um, now for my brow bone highlight, right there, right there. All right, so here's my completed look. I'm going to zoom these out a little bit. There we go. So this is my completed look. Um, it's kind of crazy. It makes my eyes look humongous, but I really like it. Uh, minus the wings, because I'm terrible at the wings, but you guys get the point of what I was trying to do. Um, I mean, it's a great way to bring color into a look that you wouldn't typically do. Like, I always stick to my neutrals, and this on me it looks insane. Like, I almost feel like I did the brat style challenge because my eyes look so big. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed the look, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.